we can now actually follow any of our other tracks. So see our kick and snare here at the moment says don't follow. If we tap on that, we can now choose a track for it to follow. What does the follow button do on the drummer tracks? Let's have a look, shall we? So the drummer follow up option is actually super cool. What I'm gonna do is we'll make another copy of this one so I don't mess around with my original project. And let's play around with drummer because I reckon, did I use drummer on this track? No, I used actual drums <laughs> down here. Jade Star probably played them. She plays drums on most of the songs that I do. Uh, so we're going to mute out these drums and let's let's bring a drummer track in. So this is my song, Spy From A Distance. It's my most recently released song. And let's just take a listen. It's getting much harder. So here it is without any drums yet. So we've muted out our drums there. Let's add a drummer track and we'll show you what the follow option does here because it's actually super cool if you've never played with it. We're going to go to drummer. We'll add a drummer. Who's going to do our thing? I mean, Kyle. Kyle's the obvious choice for everything, but maybe we'll go someone like Darcy. I don't use Darcy very much. This is more of a pop kind of song. So let's grab Darcy and let's see what Darcy's going to do by default on this track. Oh, a new kind of normal. Right? Not bad. Now, if you haven't used drummer before, you can come in here. There's a bunch of presets. You can tweak the percussion, the hi-hat, the kick and snare. You can turn on and off different kit pieces by tapping on them here, which is cool. You can tell it how many fills you want or don't want, and you can make it either simple or complex and soft or loud. So there's a bunch of options you have there, but you've noticed you've got this little follow button down here, yeah? Pretty cool, because what we can do is if we turn that one on, we can now actually follow any of our other tracks. So see our kick and snare here at the moment says don't follow. If we tap on that, we can now choose a track for it to follow. Now, the best track for a drum to follow is usually a bass. So let's grab our bass track here. There you go. What it's gonna do is gonna go and build a profile of that bass track, and now it's going to have adjusted our drums so that the kick and snare actually follow the bass. Let's go back and take a listen to the bass just so that you can hear how this works in reality. So we'll turn this one on. So our bass is doing this kind of business, yeah? We'll turn that up just so we can hear it in the mix. Right, so there's your bass. Now, if we bring the drummer in to this business, take a listen to what Darcy's doing. Right? Hear how that kick, 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 kick. Now, of course, your bass is the most logical one too, but say you had your guitars. So this is our, one of our, uh, our rhythm guitars here. So say we wanted it to actually sync up with this. So, this so here that's going to have a slightly different pattern, right? This is going to be a different pattern. So now we'll go back to Darcy and we'll go back to the drummer options here. And now with our follow option, instead of using this one, the bass, let's come up and use the sparkling clean. Now it's gonna redo that. What it's doing, it's actually reading, it's pretty cool. It's reading the profile of that waveform because it doesn't have to be a virtual instrument. As you saw, you can use virtual instruments or you can use these instruments. It's read that and it's ready to go. So let's take a listen now. Here how there's a heap more kick drums in there. It's because every time I'm doing the do 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 doing do doing, every time I'm doing those guitar picks, it's trying to add another kick drum to the guitar pick. So it doesn't sound as cool yet because you generally want it to follow your bass. You can do it. The other cool thing is even if you're using like virtual instruments, so those are actual recorded ones. So originally I actually had this bass in here before I recorded the actual bass guitar. I just had a virtual instrument. So. There was my original bass, and if we make Darcy follow that original bass, check it out. It's pretty cool. We'll come here, tap it. Uh, Liverpool, there you go. All right, Darcy, do your thing. Right? It's probably one of the most underused and un misunderstood feature but it's actually kind of one of the coolest features here in GarageBand. If you are programming drums and they're not sounding right, they're not fitting the beat, then grab your bass, grab your guitar, even grab your vocal or whatever instrument you want, and then attach it to your drums. Use that follow feature and attach it to your drums. You're going to get yourself a pretty cool sound.